Well, hello everybody and welcome to another video tutorial. My name is Peter Draculic and in this video, quick tip of GIMP, uh, I would like to show you how we could actually apply a sharpening, a selective sharpening to some of our images. And uh, normally when you apply a sharpening filter like Unsharp Mask and, and uh, the similar, the filter is applied uh, all over the image and perhaps this is something you might not want. So let's uh, see how we call we call uh, minimize or we call control how this sharpening effect is uh, being applied on, on our images. So uh, I have here open it a image and let's go ahead first uh, to the layers panel up here. You can see the layer panel and having uh, selected this layer, the background layer, let's go ahead, right click and select duplicate layer and do this twice. So now we have two copies of the background layer. Okay, I will. I'm going to be adding a, a sharpening filter to the to the first uh, copy, and then I'm going to be uh, turning the second copy into a mask that is going to be controlling how the sharpened layer is going to be uh, mixed together with the background layer. All right. First of all, let's go ahead and click on this eye icon here, and uh, I hide. I'm hiding this uh, second copy, and I'm selecting the the first copy. And I'm going to be ap applying to this a filter enhance and sharp mask. So now we are presented with this dialog box, and I can set the different you know adjustments for the for the unsharp mask filter. Uh, let's keep them as they are by default for now, and click OK. So now, after a while, my image you can see has been greatly sharpened. But perhaps I would like to to limit this effect, this sharpening effect. Uh, on the edges of our uh, of my objects and not on the surface here. I mean, I perhaps you don't want this to be sharpened it here, but just around the edges. So that's why we're going to be making this second copy a mask that is going to be controlling the uh, the sharpening effect. So I'm activating, I'm unhiding this second copy, and by right clicking, either by right clicking or by going here to the filters, I select if you have. Uh, the uh, generic, go to generic, and if, if you have the high pass filter, which is an add on, and you have downloaded and installed this, then go ahead and use the high pass filter. If you don't, by default, it's not an option by default. So let's go ahead, and in that case, there you have to go to edge detect and select, for example, the difference of Gaussians filter. So let's click on difference of Gaussian, and you are presented with a radius one and the radius two here in this window uh, pop-up window and uh, you can keep it to a difference of one pixel radius whatever and uh, yeah and uh, we can keep it as it is and you can uncheck the invert perhaps uh, but it's okay we can set this later on so let's go ahead and click ok now we have actually we, by using this filter we have actually find the edges of uh, of the different you know objects in our image like the trees here and things like that. So now all I would want to do is to go ahead to colors and select invert. So now I have inverted my image, right? And now what I want to do is to actually either by right clicking or by going up here to the colors, you can select uh, the threshold option. So now we are going to be uh, I, I'm going to scrub this slider a little bit to the left so I can uh, bring up the colors and I want to make it, I mean, I, I'm interested, especially interested in keeping these white lines here and I don't want those uh, here in the, so I can set this somewhere here perhaps, all right, and click OK. Now, this is going to be a mask, so I can work further on this and remove some, uh, you know, parts of my image that I don't want to be them to be so sharp. So all I have to do is, uh, is to go ahead and bring and select my brush here, and by giving it a good, uh, fairly big size, all right, all right, I can now start by the foreground color black, and I can you know, uh, start painting and so I can, uh, you know, hide some that I don't want them to be sharp. All right, so if, when I'm happy with the result, I can go ahead and right click on this layer here 
and select uh, you know colors and select let's say levels for example and I can make it to have a much more you know uh, levels and I can adjust the levels so it gi I give it a much more uh, contrast to my image all right perhaps you could even even uh, even uh, better and uh, more easy uh, you know easy easy way would be to, to adjust the brightness and the contrast at the same time so all right and if you want you could go ahead and add a filter uh, let's say filters uh, blur a Gaussian blur filter so you can make the transition and the mask to be to have a feather all right to be much more smooth let's keep the default values for the moment and click ok so i have made this kind of mask of course you can always uh, go to colors and add a a, 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 a levels let's say and let's play a little bit you know and play with the in the, in the contrast all right and things like that of your image so you can play with the contrast of your mask all right for the moment this image is not yet uh, has not yet turned into a mask all right so that's why i'm going to be uh, uh to to i'm going to be uh, to be s uh, making as uh, to, be, to be making a selection here so let's go ahead and select the fuzzy select tool from up here and click on and it's going to be selecting the uh you know the all the black and of course you can uh, go ahead and uh, select you know um by color perhaps that will be a nicer you know uh, a nicer uh, you know uh, option here so I have selected the black parts of the image and I want to turn them into a mask but before that I have to press ctrl i so I can invert the select I have inverted the selection and now let's go to the sharpen it copy here the, the this second layer second layer here and let's right click here and uh, uh, click apply uh, excuse me add a layer mask from down here so I want to add a layer mask from the pop-up menu here you can see you have different options okay but you select you want to select from selection all right initialize layer mask to selection so add a layer mask now i can hide this uh, mask now my layer has become a mask and actually here it is the mask and you can see this by go ahead and show uh, and select right click on the mask and select show layer mask so you can see my selection has become a mask Control shift a to deselect everything and now i want to uh, hide of course the mask and you can see that uh, I have minimized the stress uh, the the effect uh, You know, I have minimized the effect only to the edges around the trees If I go ahead and disable now the layer mask you can see that all my image is being sharpened Which is might something uh, you don't want this is might be something you don't want to happen So just go ahead and enable your uh, your handmade uh, if you prefer mask and enable this and you have minimized you have limited you have controlled the sharpening effect just to those areas around the edges of your uh, objects which is a rather nice effect so that was my uh, quick tip for today hope you enjoyed it and you learned something from this if you like this don't forget to subscribe see you next time with the, uh, another hopefully soon uh, with another hopefully interesting tutorial until then have fun and goodbye